All right, so recently Sennheiser added another firmware update for the Momentum True Wireless 3. So if you missed the initial update, which added multi-point connection, now you can go ahead and install the latest version, which is version 2.10.19. And that is going to give you multi-point connection. So you're gonna be able to connect these earbuds to two devices at the same time. But not only that, with this latest firmware, they also added a high resolution audio setting inside of the app as well. So as long as you have the latest firmware, as well as the most up-to-date app, I think it's version 4.1.5, I believe. As long as you have those two installed, you're going to have access to that high resolution setting inside of the app. And basically that's going to allow the earbuds to take full advantage of that Aptex adaptive codec to give you 24 bit high resolution audio. So what exactly does that mean? Because the earbuds already sound great. Well, I've been testing it out for a couple hours as of this morning, listening to some of my favorite playlists, a few of my favorite songs, and I do think it makes the earbuds sound a tad bit better. It's not a night and day difference by any means, but in terms of the clarity, I think it makes it sound just a little bit cleaner. So if you do have the Momentum 3, I do recommend updating to the latest firmware as well as the latest version of the app so you can test it out and see if you like it. Um, now, one thing I will say is that each time you turn the high resolution setting on and off, it makes you put the earbuds back inside of the case and then take them out and repair. So it's a little challenging to really hear the difference. It would have been easier if you could just leave the earbuds inside of your ear, turn it on, listen to your favorite song, turn it off, and then play the same section of that song so you can compare the difference. But like I said, it makes you put them back into the case and repair them each time you turn it on versus off. So I'm not really a fan of that. Another thing to mention is that the setting will also impact your Bluetooth connection. So if you plan on setting your phone down and roaming all over the place, you're probably not gonna get the best range. So that's just another small thing to keep in mind. So again, if you have the Momentum 3, I recommend checking out the updates that are available. For those of you that follow the channel, you guys know, as far as strictly sound quality, right now the Momentum 3 are my absolute favorite. I'm not an audiophile, nor have I ever claimed to be. I just like really dynamic sounding earbuds. And based on what I typically listen to, these earbuds give me a level of sound and range in terms of the bass, the treble, the clarity that I don't really get elsewhere. So again, I appreciate you guys for checking out this video. Um, apologies for my voice. I am a little bit under the weather. So if I sound different, that is why. But uh, anyway, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.